Changing the subject of the formula or transposition of formulae. Algebraic equations. The equating of two algebraic expressions form an equation. The equal sign is used to denote equality. Some examples are 3x plus 3y is equal to 1, a is equal to s squared, and a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared. To introduce the concepts that applies to equations, I will start with a very simple example, one we know well, one we are familiar with, using $1 and $5 chips. In this example, the blue chips are $1 chips and the red chips are $5 chips. We have 10 $1 chips and we have two $5 chips. So we see that 1 by 10 will give us $10 and 5 by 2 will also give us $10. The first idea is, if we change around the equation, the relationship still holds. 1 multiplied by 10 is equal to 5 multiplied by 2, and on the other hand, 5 multiplied by 2 is the same as 1 multiplied by 10. Starting with the same equation again, we will see that the equation remains valid, the relationship still holds when we add the same quantity to both sides. So if we add 5 to each side, 1 multiplied by 10 plus 5 is equal to 15, and 5 multiplied by 2 plus 5 is also equal to 15. Starting with the same equation, when we subtract the same quantity from both sides, 5 multiplied by 2 minus 5 is equal to 5, 1 multiplied by 10 minus 5 is equal to 5. Both give the same thing. Starting with the same equation, we see that if we multiply by the same quantity, the relationship remains. Multiplying by 2, we get the same relationship. They are still equal. Also, when we divide both sides by the same quantity, for example, dividing by 2, both give 5. So we see here clearly that whatever we do to one side of the equation, we have to do to the other side of the equation to maintain the relationship. It follows that we can square both sides if we wanted to, and the relationship would be maintained. We can find the square root of both sides. We can sign both sides. We can even find the sine inverse of both sides, etc. A formula is an equation which describes the relationship between two or more quantities. The result of the left-hand side of the equation is exactly the same as the right-hand side of the equation. As I alluded to in the introductory video of algebra, understanding how to change the subject of the formula is a foundation skill of algebra, no, mathematics as a whole, that we need to understand fully. Let me be very clear what I mean. The formula for area A of a rectangle is length L multiplied by the width W. A is equal to L multiplied by W. A is referred to as the subject of the formula. The subject of the formula is one letter and it is usually written by itself on the left hand side. But what is the formula for the length or the width of a rectangle? The formulae are length is equal to area divided by width and width is equal to area divided by length. You'll understand how I get these from the initial equation before we finish this video. The process of changing the subject of the formula is also referred to as transposing the formula. Some guidance on changing the subject of the formula. We remove all other letters or expressions from the side with the new subject. We remove in the reverse order of bod mass. If the new subject is in the denominator, we isolate this fraction on one side and multiply to get the new subject in the numerator. If the new subject occurs more than once, we put all the terms that contain it on one side and factor it out. At the end, we rewrite the equation so that the new subject is on the left hand side. So some examples. Example 1. Transpose L is equal to A plus N minus 1 multiplied by D for N. We are asked to make n the subject of the formula. That is, we arrange the equation so n is on one side of the equation by itself. As it is right now, n has an a, a negative 1, and a d with it on the right hand side. We have to remove these three. We are told to remove them in an order reverse of bod mass. I will show what is meant by this in this example. Bod mass dictates that we work out the brackets first. So the n is added to the negative 1 first. No order. So we multiply next. 
the result of the brackets is multiplied by d and then we add a so we are going to remove them in the reverse order a first then d then negative 1 we want to remove the a from the right hand side a is being added we know if we add 0 to any number the number does not change so we are trying to change a to 0 the only way to do this is to add negative a to it that is subtract a from it so we subtract a from both sides a subtract a is equal to 0 so we remain with n minus 1 multiplied by d on the right hand side we want to remove the d from the right hand side now d is being multiplied we know if you multiply 1 by any number the number does not change it remains itself so we are trying to change the d to 1 the way to do this is to divide by d thus cancelling to get 1 so we divide both sides by d the d's cancel leaving n minus 1 on the right hand side we want to remove the negative 1 now negative 1 is being added to n so we need to add positive 1 to it to get it to 0 adding positive 1 to both sides negative 1 added to positive 1 is equal to 0 so we remain with n Equations are usually written with the subject on the left hand side, so we simply rewrite it and we are done. n is equal to L minus A over D added to 1. Example 2. Transpose Q is equal to W multiplied by open brackets capital H minus common H close brackets all over capital T minus common T for common T. We want to make common T the subject of the formula. Before we start this process, we need to remove common t from the denominator by getting the fraction alone on one side and multiplying by the denominator. This moves it to the numerator and makes it easier to proceed. The fraction that has it in the denominator is alone on one side. So we multiply both sides by the denominator, multiplying by capital T minus common t. They cancel to leave w multiplied by open brackets h minus common h close brackets now on the left hand side we want to remove the q and the capital t but which order should they be done with board mass we work out the brackets first so we add negative t to t first and then we multiply by q so we are going to remove them in the reverse order q first then t Q is being multiplied, so we divide both sides by Q. Cancelling leaves T minus T on the left hand side. Positive capital T is being added, so we subtract capital T from both sides to give negative T on the right hand side. So we have negative T. How do we get positive T from negative T? We multiply it by negative 1. Negative 1 multiplied by negative t is equal to positive t. W multiplied by h minus h over q minus t multiplied by negative 1 is negative w multiplied by h minus h over q plus t. Remember distributive law. Which is the same as just rewording t subtract w multiplied by h minus h over q. Common t is equal to capital T subtract w multiplied by h minus h over q example 3 transpose t is equal to 2 pi multiplied by the square root of l over g for g g is in the denominator so the first step is to get it in the numerator to achieve this we have to get the fraction alone on one side and multiply by the denominator with board mass we do order first so we find the square root first then we multiply by 2 pi after. Thus, we remove the 2 pi first, then the square root. The 2 pi is being multiplied. So we divide by 2 pi. Cancelling leaves the square root of L over G on the right hand side. Now the square root of L over G is the same as L over G raised to the power of a half. Check my video on laws of indices if you don't understand this. The link is below. We know that any number raised to the power of 1 is itself. So we would like to change the power from a half to 1. We achieve this by squaring. L over G 
to the power of a half all raised to the power 2 is equal to L over G to the power of a half multiplied by 2 to the power of 1. L over G to the power 1 is equal to L over G. We multiply by G to get it to the numerator. Cancelling. Now G is multiplied by T over 2 pi squared. Thus we divide by T over 2 pi squared to remove it from the left hand side. Cancelling leaves g alone on one side. g is equal to l over t over 2 pi squared. Example 4. Transpose d is equal to the square root of b multiplied by x minus b all over c for x. We want x alone on one side. We have to remove the b's, the c, and the square root, but in what order? With bod mass, we work out the brackets first, so we add the negative b first. Then we multiply by b. Then we divide the numerator by c. Then we take the square root. So we are going to remove them in the reverse order. Square root first, then c, then b, then negative b. To remove the square root on the right hand side, we square both sides. To remove the c, we make it 1 by multiplying both sides by c. Cancelling. The b is being multiplied, so we divide both sides by b. Cancelling leaves x minus b. We are subtracting b, so we add positive b to both sides, to remain with x alone on the right-hand side. Rewriting, so the subject is on the left-hand side, we have x is equal to d squared c over b added to b. Example 5. Transpose y is equal to ab over a minus b for a. There is more than one a in this equation, so if we get the terms with a next to each other, we can factor the a out. First, we multiply by the denominator to simplify. Cancelling gives y multiplied by a minus b is equal to ab. We want all the terms with a on one side, so we move the ab from the right hand side by subtracting ab. To simplify, we expand the brackets, remembering distributive law. We get ay minus by when we expand the brackets. We remove the negative by to leave the terms with a alone on the left hand side, adding positive by to both sides, factorizing by hcf. Dividing by y minus b. A is equal to by over y minus b. That's it. Five examples of changing the subject of the formula. That is it for this video. I am Mr. Dubé. If you found this video helpful, if you appreciate what I am trying to do on this channel, please like this video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Join me in the next video.